1v1 National Righteousness Traditional Culture The Blue Mountains of Qing Luo connect with heaven and earth, and the scenery and clouds are shrouded in dry and clear air. Enemy invasion, father-son affection, and children's private affairs, all go to the mountains and rivers. Qing Luo only knew that life and death before the battle were for his family and country, and that love between children and daughters was a burden. So, during the Jingha period, the general of cavalry in cavalry, Qing Luo Chaotang, asked a daily question. Why hasn't the crown prince made way for Princess Taiyuan? Keywords of the novel Qing Luo Jing and no pop-ups, Qing Luo Jing and the complete download of TXT, Qing Luo Jing and the latest chapter reading. Chapter 1 Wedge You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 Wedge 3 Edge Darts, Pheasant Feathers at the Tail of Arrows, Fresh Blood, Cliffs, Wind, Branches Suddenly Awakened, The Light Had Climbed Up the Window Edge and Into the Eyes. At the moment he opened his eyes, his worried expression concealed the caution in his peach blossom eyes. Are you awake? The girl in front of her, named Ning Yu, was dressed in a green and green shirt, with a hint of tenderness in her eyes. I picked you up on the mountain in the capital that day, and when I saw you injured, I took you back to the estate. Do you remember your background now? Shake your head, feeling dizzy and bloated. Shaking up, his doubts were even greater than those of Ningyu. Why did you fall off the cliff? Where did it come from? Where is the four courtyard in my memory, why don't you come with me to meet my father and mother? My mother has some medical skills, maybe she can help you a little, Ningyu said, calmly leading the way ahead. In the mountains and fields of July, the fragrance of grass and trees fills the villa, while pink walls and dark tiles are shrouded in the misty mountain breeze. Crickets hide in the bushes and chirp, blowing the horn of early autumn. This girl is very much like an old friend of mine, said Ning Mo, who had seen this girl from the cliff. Jiang Qingji, the head of Jining Manor, also nodded in response, if it weren't for the young lady from the Qing family in the capital staying well in the mansion, I would have thought she was the little girl from Qing Luo. Li Gu Jing Zhao The summer rain in the capital city is continuous, and even the traces of the previous day have long been hidden deep in the soil, making it difficult to find any trace. In autumn, it is difficult to find any trace of the past months. The newcomer was dressed in a moonlight white robe, got off his horse, and stumbled towards the edge of the cliff. A tree grew alone on the side of the cliff, with a red cloth floating on its branches that had faded from the sun. Chinpu's eyes trembled and he flew down. As he was about to pounce, Chinpu swung his iron paw onto the cliff, swayed with the flow, propped his feet against the cliff, and raised his hand to hold the brocade cloth in his hand. Hang Luo. There are a lot of silk and satin in Jiangnan, and this Hangzhou style is most suitable for summer use, breathable and lightweight. My younger sister is the most greedy, and every April she wears a woven horse face pleated skirt. If you go out during the day, you must dress lightly and run down the street with short pants and skirts. The smile at the corner of his mouth was eventually suppressed by the pain at the end of his eyes, and Chinpu swung down the mountain along the cliff. There were no traces left at the foot of the mountain, and Chinpu had no choice but to climb back to the cliff. He had just collected the rope and stood still, and a person flashed out from his side. Young master, the Southeast War has started again. I will command you to lead the army, he said, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Jasmine blossoms die the summer intention, falling moon, residual withering disturb the morning light. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Jasmine blossoms die the summer intention, falling moon, residual withering disturb the morning light in May of the capital, just past the time when willow catkins were everywhere, the white jasmine flowers in the protectorate general's mansion rushed to cover the streets and alleys. Since the third year of the reign of Emperor Yu Jingha, the boundaries of the neighborhood and market have been opened up, and the small shops on the streets have filled the streets and alleys of the capital. Gardenia flowers. Miss, why don't you buy some and sew them into a sachet? In this five poisons month, please have some more mugwort, 
which is grown in the villa in the suburbs of the Qing family. You can rest assured of the quality. The girl in red stopped at the sound and looked up at the old man in the shop. Due to practicing martial arts, the girl in red tied her hair high, and with her early height, if it weren't for her youthful face and insufficient size. This shows that children are still nine years old and in early childhood education. Miss, said the old man, only then did he realize that this young lady in his own family was one of the most famous figures in the capital. Her legitimate brother won three yuan in a row the previous year, and was immediately in the limelight. At the beginning of the year, the holy emperor only bestowed upon the princess the special honor, and the two hundred mile fiefdom was even more precious in the land of Jiangnan, comparable to the princess Taiyuan who had been favored since childhood in the palace. Princess, said the old man as he bent down to bow, what do you have to say, princess? The slavery system had long been abolished in that dynasty, and the old man was only employed by the protectorate general's office, receiving monthly payments. Uncle, please get up quickly. I just happened to pass by. He glanced at the sachet on the stall and then froze on the edge of a dark blue triangular embroidered oleander sachet. As soon as her gaze swept over the jasmine sachet with golden threads on the side, the girl in red finally lifted her hand and took the sachet with her own hands, instructing the book boy with her to say, Ye, take two fists of money. In May, the capital city is so hot that even the flowers have faded their colors. Even the epiphany that appears at night only dares to die a little moonlight from the stars alone. The old man looked at his own young lady in front of him, feeling proud from the bottom of his heart. How many young masters and ladies in the entire capital can be born with such beauty, and have learned martial arts skills early on? Hanging a jasmine fragrance bag around my waist, my hair, which had been twisted into thin strands by thin sweat, was scattered by the wind. A hint of desolation flashed through my agile eyes. Princess, what's wrong with you today? The book boy beside her, Yi, looked at her own princess for a while and finally asked. Raising her hand to look at the silk thread of M.O. lawn between her fingers, the girl in red opened her mouth and said, let's go back. Arriving at the entrance of the mansion, he hesitated for a while again. Looking at the brightly lit lights in the mansion, as I stepped up, my eyes sank. After the stars set and the clouds fell, the morning sun dyed the white jasmine in the mansion orange-red, and the crescent moon was forced into a corner by the light of the sun. Although the sun and moon seem to shine together, it inevitably leads to some depression. With the morning dew, there was already little dust in the early morning. Today, for some reason, the wind blew and squinted her eyes. When the girl in red lowered her eyes and blinked, a half drop of faint and sparkling light hung from the corner of her eye. Despite the considerable salary, there is even a good reward during festivals. The current owner of the Protectorate General's mansion, Qing Mazhen, has a kinship relationship with the current Holy Emperor and can be called half a royal relative. The furnishings in this mansion are quite low. Key, at least they don't make all the doors look like Nanmu. Pushing open the Five Blessings Gate of Yumu, I stepped inside and looked up to see Qing Pu and Qing Ma Zheng, who had been away from the mansion for over half a year, chatting behind their backs. Luor, why did you come to the study so early today? End of this chapter Chapter 3 The old city is still in the new mansion, and the old people come, 1. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 the old city is still in the new mansion, and the old people come, one, dead. Returning to my father, I'm dead. Chinpu reached out to sniff and stood up, nodding to my father. The body of the girl who had just entered was prominently displayed in the study, and even though Ching Ma Zheng was looking at the face of Xiao Qing Luo, his heart couldn't help but feel pity. Just now, her rosy face had lost its color, and half a mouthful of blood flowed from the corner of her mouth slightly redder than her mouth fat. Hmm. Ching Ma Zheng responded, slightly closing his eyes and not speaking again for a while. Father remained silent, and Ching Pu stood silently on the side. When his father frowned, Ching Pu resumed speaking, Father, do you need your child to go to the palace? Go ahead. 
After bowing deeply and taking two steps back, Qingpu turned around and was about to step over the threshold of the study when his father stopped him. When will Luo Er come back? Ningyu felt that the child did not protect Luo Er well, so she insisted on having her younger brother Ning Xian bring a group of people from the mountain villa to escort Luo Er back. Upon hearing the hint of resentment from his son Qingpu's words, he realized that he had not been optimistic about Luo Er and had asked him to sneak out and join the fun, which led to this kind of incident. As a father, he was not very embarrassed to laugh. Seeing his father's worried expression, Qingpu naturally added, Ning Yu's younger brother is about the same age as a child, but there is a title in the martial arts world that lacks a young master. His martial arts skills should be impressive, so father doesn't have to worry. Jiang Qingji, the lord of Jining Mountain Villa, together with many young people from the martial arts world and the uprising army, repelled foreign countries during the internal and external troubles of the previous dynasty, and restored the purity of this mountain and river. Later, she married Ning Mo, a young and famous member of the Qing family army. Once in a while, even if the people of the martial arts world have never had contact with the court since ancient times, it is still impossible to cut off contact with the Qing family. Hmm. Qing Mo nodded and picked up the lacquerware box containing the lake pen from the desk. Bring this to the emperor. It's useless for your father and me to keep it. Don't bring these things to your father and me again in the future. You are the only one in the mansion who can write and write. It would be a waste to use them for me. Taking the box handed by his father, Qingpu continued to wait for what his father had to say behind him. Qing Mazheng is only in his thirties and fifties, but he has been working hard in the military camp for nearly twenty years. Rao Jinghe inherited the hereditary position of the protector general in the second year of his reign, and now he has been in Jingzhou for seven or eight years intermittently. Some rough words have been hidden, and his straightforward personality has not changed at all. When he speaks, he has a lot to say. At the beginning of the year, in order to hide from your mother, the emperor helped a lot. Remember to thank you for your kindness when entering the palace. My own daughter has lost her bag, and as a father, it's impossible to live with her often. At least it's a bit awkward in one move. Being a mother is even less likely to be unnoticed. At the beginning of the year, Qinglua's whereabouts were still unknown, and Bai Landao had a clear understanding of the abnormalities of her husband and daughter. Without the protection of the current Holy Emperor Li Jing, the mother would have been heartbroken and unable to get up. Yes, father. Qingpu agreed to his father's words and turned around to step on his official boots embroidered with auspicious cloud patterns. He didn't even have time to change into a third-grade purple official uniform and was dressed in soap cloth. He got on the sedan chair and rushed to the palace. Early in the morning, Yi Yi was left behind by her own princess. She was genuinely worried that the princess would run away like before, causing the general to be difficult to find. General. Yi has a rebellious personality, and the entire Qing family did not simply treat Yi as a book boy, but rather as a family. General, the princess is missing again. Qing Ma Zheng usually doesn't want to be called the head of the family. If it were in the past, the phrase, general, by Yi would ensure that Qing Ma Zheng is happy. Just as he was about to call Yi in, he saw the corpse lying horizontally in the study. Qing Ma Zheng cleared his throat and said, Please rest and have some breakfast. Don't worry, Luor. Reminder. Due to personal needs for the college entrance examination, this book has one change per day and 1,000 changes per day. It is expected to be available in June. Thank you for your support. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 The old city is still in the new mansion, and the old people come, too. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 The old city is still in the new mansion, and the old people come, too, is Pu Er here. Although Qingpu has already served as a third-rank official in the imperial court, the emperor still uses his usual title in private, regardless of the officials. Your father brought something to me again, and I have quite a few things I plan to give to him. 
Li Jing's mother was an orphan daughter adopted by the Qing family and the founding empress of Li, facing her own family, Li Jing doesn't put on airs either. Let's wait for Luo Er to come back and send it to the mansion together. When mentioning Qing Luo, Li Jing remembered the purpose of Qing Pu's visit today and gestured for Qing Pu to explain the ins and outs of these recent events. There must be many extraordinary sources of information under the emperor's command. It should have been clear about this matter of the Qing family long ago. However, she didn't want to add suspicion to her own family, and since the Qing family has been a family of military generals inherited from the previous dynasty, Li Jing didn't think of placing any manpower in the Qing family and only relied on Qing Pu to convey messages. That girl's name is Qing Qi, the Qing family is an old minister from the previous dynasty. Li Jing listened and nodded slightly. In front of his family, he didn't hide his emotions and a hint of hesitation hung on his eyebrows. Back then, the Qing family also served as officials in the Bai dynasty with the Qing family. At the end of the Bai dynasty, the emperor was incompetent, on par with Jie Zhou, and listened to the words of sycophants. The Qing family was ostracized by the white emperor, and shortly after withdrawing from the court, the Qing family was accused of plagiarism among the three clans for unfounded reasons. As for whether to leave any survivors in the end, due to the invasion of foreign enemies, the Qing family had no time to consider. If the enemy country were meticulous, it would be easy to explain, but if it were the Qing family, it would be puzzling. The Qing family would not have been foolishly loyal until all three tribes were wiped out, yet they still wanted to restore the Bai dynasty. That day, my father and I made a fake city defense map, relaxed our guard, and asked Qing Qi to steal it. This was the early solution to the border crisis. In the eyes of the people behind this, Cheng Qi was just a chess piece that was lost after being used. On the surface, he pretended to be fighting a child and then made adjustments according to Luo Er's appearance, putting in a lot of hard work. Naturally, the plan was not shallow. Seeing the small things, the logic is clear. Qing Pu has provided Li Jing with a detailed report on what he has learned during these days. Speaking of which, if it weren't for the pursuit of mutual affection in these years, the noble daughter of the entire Jingzhao Gao men would definitely want to marry Qing Pu. However, even so, everyone in the capital who has a daughter's family is asking the gods, hoping that Qing Pu will become their own son. In law in the future. He comes from a noble family of generals and has achieved three consecutive awards based on his abilities. However, at the age of 15 or 16, he easily became a third-rank official in the central three provinces. He is truly a good young man who is both skilled in literature and martial arts and has achieved great success. I think on that day when Luo Er was attacked, he was closely related to the Qing family. And the people behind him. After listening to Qing Pu's analysis, Li Jing nodded again and paced in the center of the hall for a moment before turning around and saying, How was the corpse handled? I'll leave it to my father to handle. It's time to find a place to store it in the ice cellar, so I can find some clues in the poison taken by Qing Qi the next day. Okay, Li Jing immediately moved to the side of the table and wrote a secret order, so he took the ice cellar by the Yongding River in the western suburbs to the mansion for use, and temporarily wronged the ice cellar in the mansion to store Qing Qi's body. Your Majesty, thank you. Qing Pu bowed long to show gratitude, and Li Jing, as usual, grabbed his nephew in front of him. Despite his gentle movements, he pretended to be angry and said, Pu Er is holding on to these formalities, it's embarrassing to call me an uncle. Just now you said that Luo Er is returning to Jingzhou, but when will he be able to come to the palace? They are all from our own family, and Luo Er is the only one who is willing to be close to me. It is your father, who is a great general and also restrained those civil officials' courtesy. Tomorrow morning in the morning, I will leave my good cousin behind and at least chat with me for one or two hours. Qing Pu listened, feeling that his cousin was exactly the same, but at the age of Lin Yan, he became as mischievous as an old child. You too, at a young age, you are so mature and dignified that you don't even look like a child in every aspect of etiquette. 
The etiquette of the monarchs and ministers here is more similar to that of the Han dynasty and before, where they were relatively equal, standing together or sitting and standing one by one like in the Tang dynasty, not the kneeling state of the Qing dynasty. The term, year, has been modified based on tradition, and will be specifically used in works later on. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 The old city is still in the new mansion, and the old people come, 3. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 The old city is still in the new mansion, and the old people come, 3. Early in the morning, the sky is still white and hazy. I don't know whose tavern and tea house had not yet extinguished the candles from the night before, but Ning Xian took Qing Luo into Jingzhou City. Except for a few years ago when Ning Mo brought his own child to talk to Qing Mojing about old times, Ning Xian didn't have the opportunity to visit Jingzhou. Today, he sent Qing Luo back to the Protectorate General's mansion, so he took the opportunity to come to Jingzhou and stop for a while. When it comes to Ning Xian, there are two lines of poetry in the martial arts world. Wuling idle people are not idle people, there is no shortage of young masters. Without mentioning the first sentence about who to talk about, this second sentence is about Ning Xian. She was dressed in a round-necked robe with a silver thread embroidered with a river wave pattern on the hem. She walked around her waist and used a short dagger inlaid with green field stones and pomegranates for self.defense. Wu is capable of helping the world, and his elegant demeanor is also impressive. If Qing Pu is a jade-like young master in the court, Ning Xian is undoubtedly a legendary figure in the martial arts world. Although there is a missing self-account, it is actually just a fear of overflowing if the name is full, using the name to cover up the name. Tomatoes on sticks, hello. Sour plum soup, soothing heat sour plum soup. The shouting of street vendors spread through the streets and alleys, piercing into people's ears, evoking the thoughts of young men and girls carrying copper coins. Do you need me to buy some sour plum soup to join you? Qing Luo and Ning Xian have been practicing martial arts and medicine together these days, coming and going, naturally getting to know each other well. Ning Xian also sees Qing Luo as his own younger sister. No need, the father in the mansion has prepared chilled sour plum soup, and the ones sold outside are all hot-mouthed. After all, as a child under nine years old, Qing Luo couldn't help but crave some cold food. My mother stopped me, afraid that I might eat my stomach. Dad and his daughter gathered together to hide the sour plum soup in the ice cellar, and then took advantage of the lack of attention from the white sweet potato and hid in the martial arts training ground to steal a drink. Sour plum soup is actually a good thing, but due to the damp tide in Jiangnan, the summer heat does not have the same fumigation as in Jingzhou. Sour plum soup is also a good remedy for relieving summer heat. Ning Xian's mother, Jiang Qingji, is a martial artist from the martial arts world. Her sect can also be considered a branch of the Xianmen sect, which has been inherited from the five sects of Shan, Yi, Ming, Xiang, and Bu, with only some medical skills remaining. In the generation of Jiang Qingji, there were basically only some ways to take care of himself. Ning Xian had been influenced from a young age and also had some knowledge. Well, go back and ask for some from my father. There are many more osmanthus flowers in the mansion than on this stall. Now that the days are approaching the solstice, the heat of the day can soak into people's bones. Every household in Jingzhou naturally had prepared sour plum soup and various types of ice pastries to relieve summer heat. Emperor Li Jing gave the general's mansion another ice cellar for his daily use. Do you want a tomatoes on sticks to eat? It's easy to have a younger sister and Ning Xian only said that she was spoiled. The cook in the mansion can even make oranges into tomatoes on sticks and sour teeth of hawthorn. That's true. Jining Mountain Villa is not poor either. Whatever you want, you can have it. Now, thinking about it, Ning Xian really feels that Qing Luo has been wronged for over a year. I sneaked out to join my brother's horse riding parade, but instead caused trouble for my father and brother, making my mother worried. Senior brother Ning Xian, don't worry about Luo Air. 
Xiu saw that Qin Luo had a remarkable talent for martial arts. These literary and artistic activities were truly a true testament to being a father. These words were all spoken by Qin Luo with a worried expression, thinking about them all the way before he finally spoke to Ning Xian. Remembering the details of Qing Pu's confession that day, Ning Xian knew that even without Qing Luo's recent pursuit of excitement on the streets, the people behind him would still have to find an opportunity to harm Qing Luo and sneak into the Qing Pu family to inquire about defense secrets. Luo, don't worry anymore. Senior brother, your brother, father, and mother all love you so much. Rubbing Qing Luo's hair, Ning Xian only felt that the dangling little man who had not yet tied his hair was very cute. In the future, remember to listen to General and your elder brother Pu. There hasn't been any major incident this time. If you really lose your life, how can you spend the rest of your life with your family and Yi and others? Yes, it's all up to senior brother. Qing Luo is not one of those young children who cannot listen to words. People who practice martial arts are naturally free and generous. Nodding should be appropriate, even if they truly listen, it does not worry Ning Xian. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Qing Luo returns a thousand miles from afar to Li Chang's recent learning in various ways, Part 1. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Returning from Qin Luo for a thousand miles to Li Chong for recent learning, Part 1, in previous years, on such days, the princess would wake up and call herself to fetch two bowls of ice cream, and the two of them would share the food. For several days without finding her own princess, Yi couldn't help feeling strange. Today, I went to the kitchen to pick up the frozen leaves and returned empty-handed. Qing Pu listened and went to court to beg for two portions from the palace. Holding the frozen pastry in his hand, no one was vying to eat it. The creamy and mellow aroma was slightly reduced, and the idle leaf frowned and wandered around the house. Qing Ma Zheng, who didn't know when Qing Luo would return to the mansion, also deceived Yi by saying that Qing Luo had gone to the palace. Yi always feels that the general has been acting strange these past few days, as if hiding something from herself. Speaking in detail, Yi Zibin cannot be considered a girl hired by the government to work. She was originally an orphan of a subordinate surnamed Xiao in the early years of the Qing family army, named Xiao Yi. Now that she has taken on the Qing family surname, she calls Qing Yi. Take care of this girl at home and accompany Qing Luo. Although she is an accompanying scholar, she should be taken care of as the legitimate daughter of the family. Qing Luo has some, but also a share of Qingye. Although several years older than Qing Luo, Qingye is still a glutton, with snacks stuffed into her sleeves on weekdays. Fortunately, she often practices martial arts with Qing Luo and doesn't gain weight. Princess Seeing the princess of her own family knocking at the mansion door, Qingye, who was still hovering in the courtyard with frowns, ran towards her. Seeing someone rushing towards Qing Luo, Ming Xian instinctively placed his hand on the short dagger and stared in the direction where Qingye was running. Qingye was immersed in the joy of her own princess returning to her mansion, but she did not notice any hostility towards Ning Xian. It's not good for Yi to always frown. Qing Luo just entered the mansion and looked at Qingye with a furrowed brow. Listening to Qing Luo speak up voluntarily, Ning Xian's whole body was tense, afraid that this junior sister would be attacked again, so he finally relaxed. There was nowhere to put the ice in her hand, and Qingye looked at the regained princess. She wanted to hand over the ice in her hand and said, Princess, you've come back. Even though the time spent together is not short on weekdays, Qingye is not so familiar with the martial arts of the Qing family. She only feels that the princess has been separated from her in this year, and there has been a lot less laughter on weekdays. Where did the freezing point come from? You're a bit like me, Leaf. Princess, you have finally returned. Entering the city, Qingpu had already sent someone to meet with Ning Xian and tell Qing Luo about all the things that had happened at home. Qing Ma Jing didn't want to make these dirty and provocative things known to his nine-year-old daughter. As an older brother, I feel that with this kind of thing in mind, 
coupled with being a junior minister, in the future, Luo Air will have to take on the position of the Grand General of the Protectorate in the family, and these matters inside and outside the court will also be involved sooner or later. The pure self cleanses, the turbid self pollutes. Understanding these dirty things is only for self. Protection. Ning Xian had been walking slowly for a long time, but he didn't know how to talk to Qin Luo about this matter. The little girl had never seen anyone fight or kill before. If this mission failed, he would take poison and commit suicide, which really scared the little girl. Don't let Ning Xian hesitate. After listening, Qing Luo's face showed no signs of color. That day, I was chased to the top of the cliff. If it weren't for that tree saving my life, I wouldn't be in this world now. Qing Luo could see through it clearly, but instead comforted Ning Xian, senior brother, it was once said in the military book that soldiers are not averse to deceit. This is not really considered a dirty matter. Qing Luo felt that the ice was not refreshing, so he gave some to Qingye. Qingye then held two empty bowls and wanted to go and buy some chilled sour plum soup for her princess to relieve the heat. The ice cellar in the mansion was used to store the body, but it cannot be used. The ice cellar in the western suburbs has no place to store ice, and these days it has only been placed indoors for cooling. The elder brother had a headache for a while and secretly sneaked out of the mansion, intending to go to the palace and beg for two more bowls of chilled Osmanthus sour plum soup. Just as he approached the main hall, he heard that the emperor inside was losing his composure. He patted the table and scolded Li Chong, if you say you won't go study with Mencius tomorrow, then don't. Your Majesty, the young attendant requests an audience. You go to your mother's place, and I'll settle accounts with you later. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Qing Luo returns a thousand miles from afar to Li Chang's recent learning in various ways, too. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Qing Luo returns a thousand miles from afar to Li Chang's recent learning in various ways, too. Li Chong finally raised Meng Laozi's angry beard. There is no other reason. The conservative faction in Meng Laozi's court, apart from the urgent need for improvement left by the previous dynasty, prioritizes sons over daughters. Those things that are quoted from the classics are all spiritual. Since Li Jing ascended the throne and changed to Jingha, the emperor and empress have been loving each other, and there were no concubines in the palace. As a result, Li Lan and Li Chong, the only two descendants of Li Jing, were siblings of the same mother. If a daughter has talent, she can also excel in both civil and martial arts compared to a man. Li Jing, who was the first mother and the second wife to have both civil and military skills, was well versed in this theory. As the court situation stabilized, she began to serve as a woman. In theory, Li Jing, who advocates change, could not hold the old dot fashioned Meng Jing as a guest of honor. How could I search inside? but there is no one like Meng Jing who can eat ancient books thoroughly. Li Chong always had some fantasies, and Li Jing thought of finding such an old minister to sharpen his son's spirit. Just like Lan Er, there is a well-founded idea for governing the country. Li Jing had just entered when she saw Li Chong arguing with old master Meng. Meng Jing's face had already turned red with anger. Your Majesty, this. This. Ah. Meng Jing stroked her beard and shook her sleeve in front of the emperor. Your majesty, I am foolish and find it difficult to teach your highness. I hope your majesty can find another job. Meng Jing has no children, only a nephew left behind by her brother and sister in law who passed away. Her name is Meng Mingji, and she is now about the same age as Li Chong. She is also rebellious and generous, which is a headache for her uncle every day. If in Li Jing's view, Meng Mingji was ignorant and incompetent in both literature and martial arts. At such an age, he would go to the streets to find a theater to listen to music, but Li Chong should feel inferior. There is a difficult nephew in the family, and if Li Chong is added, it will indeed make it difficult for old master Meng to do it. Li Jing comforted and finally bid farewell to Meng Jing, 
who was sighing and reciting the three principles and five constants, and was full of poetry, books, etiquette, and righteousness. Li Jing suddenly felt that she understood her son. In ancient times, civil officials often had those who collided with pillars to strongly advise, crying and crying in the court, which was even more unsightly than their disdain for those deep women who cried, made trouble, and hung themselves three times. Having invited Meng Jing back home, Li Jing just breathed a sigh of relief as she watched her own son start to feel a headache. The late emperor opened his harem extensively and had many descendants. Li Li, the third son of the emperor, is the legitimate younger brother of the current emperor. Since childhood, he has been idle and fond of mountains and rivers, medicine, and poetry. Since Li Jing ascended the throne, he has been away from Jingzhou all year round. Instead, he has traveled around the world and even picked up a disciple for the national teacher, taking some books on astrology and divination with him. Although he has the title of a wise king, he is truly a wise king. Li Jing didn't want to disturb such idle people, but when she looked at her son pointing and pointing at ancient books in front of her, she remembered Luo Er from the Qing family who almost lost his life due to his playfulness at that time, Li Jing summoned Prince Xian to stay by his side as a messenger, saying, don't delay anyone named Li. Come back to Jingzhou within half a month and quickly enter the palace. If you delay for a day, the Qin Jianxiana, Honghua, Xuelian, Muxiang, Tianfu, Suoyang, and a possinum supplied by the Western Rome will no longer have his place to study. As the messenger was about to leave, Li Jing added, even the ancient books from the national teacher's place do not have his share of a single piece of paper. My dear brother understands my dear brother. It is said that the wise King Li Li ran two horses unconscious and three carriages damaged in order to return to Beijing on time. Of course, this is naturally a later part. On the contrary, it was Li Jing who told Qingpu these words, and after passing them back to the Protectorate General's mansion, it was truly a matter of joy and sorrow for several families. Mother and brother were naturally happy, while Bai Landao and Qingpu laughed until tears streamed down their faces. There is a place in Jingzhou town where Luo Er can read some poetry and prose. But when it comes to those who are worried, Qing Ma Zheng is not really one of them. Qing Luo and Qing Ye heard that they were going to study poetry, books, and ancient sayings at the residence of the wise king in the suburbs of Beijing. They vowed to take advantage of the time before the wise king Li Li returned to the capital to eat and drink at Jingzhou. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Xian Wang, Zengxi, Zengxianxi, Guoshi, Tua Yu Jiazi, Part 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Xian Wang, Zengxi, Zengxianxi, Guoshi, Tua Yu Jiazi, Part 1 Ning Xian is not in a hurry to return to the mountain villa. The martial arts world has been calm lately, and there is no longer the chaotic era of the end of the Bai dynasty. The two girls with swords and daggers went out on the street, and Jing Zhao strengthened public security since the incident in Qin Luo, so as not to cause any other trouble. The owner buys some snacks, the owner buys some sweet soup, and when tired, they go to the tea house to rest. Taking a peek down the second floor of the tea house, Qin Luo saw the street vendors on the opposite side. They said they could choose gifts if they hit the target, and even considered the rare white-haired fox in Jingzhou City as the top prize. With such a sweep of his eyes, the white fox had no stray hair all over its body. Wherever it lay, Qin Luo could sympathize with those emperors who were criticized by obscure historical books. The fox's cry seemed as if it had been bullied by someone, and even across the street, one could hear moans of grievances coming from the cage. Princess, if we win that fox back and roast it, it would be a novel thing. I can't blame Qingye for being delicious. Before coming to the Qing family, he had suffered a lot in food and drink, but now he can't be short-lived. Ning Xian has been extremely unhappy with Qingye these days, and he always feels that his junior sister's attack has a great connection with Qingye Guan's carelessness. Not to mention the others, 
at least Qingye is three or two years older than her own junior sister, so she should also have some predictions about these dangerous things what Qingye just said, Ning Xian really wanted to say a few words to express his dissatisfaction. After all, even if there is a lack of young master, there is always a bit of childishness in Rao. Thinking about what Qingpu said, Ning Xian didn't want to touch on the other people's sad things, and his heart was filled with slander. After all, he had no words. Yi, don't you think it's more interesting to keep a fox at home? Looking at the fox across the street, Qing Luo put down his usual copper coin and pulled Qingye up. The empress in the palace has a long-haired Persian cat, which was transported from the newly opened commercial route in Shiro. When I went to the palace two years ago, I took a glance and realized that this white fox was not as real as this one. It's rare to hunt here in Jingzhou city. I heard my dad say that the northeast border is covered in mountains and fields, but it is very wild. It is extremely difficult to hunt for life. Slowly descending from the steps of the tea house, Qing Luo wore a twelve tattered skirt today, with a combination of goose yellow and wine red, embroidered with patterns of jasmine flowers. The wine red half of the upper body, combined with the edge, are all made of the coolest lake silk worn during this season. The twelve broken skirts and half arm Qingye also have the same set, but the colors are made of Qingye's favorite green and green. A set of clothes by Hu Ling costs at least five tails of money, and even fifteen tails of silver with exquisite embroidery are difficult to buy. This shows how much the Qing family dotes on the orphans of the old tribe and their own daughters. Fortunately, Bai Lanting, the younger brother of Bai Lan Dao, inherited the official business of salt, iron, and wine along the Beijing Hangzhou Canal in Jiangnan. He managed it under the brand of an imperial merchant, and it was not difficult to order two good clothes for his niece and daughter. From the tea house to the opposite stall, Qing Luo saw two scholars who had just missed their target by shooting five arrows on the stall. They were arguing with the owner of the stall and their faces turned red. We need fifteen arrows here, three of us, each with five arrows. When a new customer arrived, the owner of the shop set aside the original customer and put a smile on their face to collect the money from the three of Qing Luo. A pair of twenty copper plates, fifteen together should make three hundred copper plates. First, show me an arrow. There are many noble sons in Jingzhou city who are good at horseback riding and archery, or young ladies from aristocratic families who also practice civil and martial arts. This white fox is cute and tight, and it is inevitable that it will be won by throwing silver money. Nowadays, many people have left the field with disheveled faces, and the young family members who have been in the military for generations naturally suspect that they are on the arrow. I can't see anything unusual about bows and arrows. Joyfully handing over the bow and arrow, it was unexpected that Qing Luo had just received the feather arrow, so he frowned. There is a slight modification in the previous chapter, Meng Mingji is not a posthumous child, but an orphan after the death of Meng Jing's brother and sister. In law. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Wise King Zheng Shi Zhen Xian Shi Guo Shi Tu Er Yu Jia Zi Two. You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Chapter Nine. Wise King Zheng Shi Zhen Xian Shi Guo Shi Tu Er Yu Jia Zi Two. Qing Luo touched her hand and made a decision in her heart. But it turned out that the owner had tampered with this arrow shaft, and the elliptical section would inevitably cause the force to deflect after leaving the string. The feel is not very obvious and when placed in the hands of those who rely on hunting in the deep mountains, it does not affect their performance. Ku Jing Zhao, these young masters and ladies, are mostly favored in honey jars. Not to mention that this arrow shaft is not neat, even if another family's arrows are used, they may be able to miss the target. Looking at the arrow feather in his hand, Qing Luo was stunned for a while. He had lost his memory when he fell off the cliff, and his master finally helped him recall his background. However, the memory of being chased to the cliff is still sporadic to this day. Princess, Princess. Yi, you. I originally wanted Qingye to make a fortune with archery, but then I remembered Ye's carefree nature, afraid of shouting directly at the shop owner, 
revealing the hands and feet on the arrow shaft. Although Qin Luo relied on his rear favor and his own abilities, he was still enough to walk horizontally in Jingzhou. But if the owner of this shop dares to act like this, it is difficult to guarantee that there is no power behind it. In terms of the martial arts world and the court, whoever has a big background, Qin Luo naturally has not lost. But if you dare to act like this under the feet of the emperor, you must have confidence and fearlessness. Instead of startling the snake with grass, it would be better to go back and tell our own brother about this matter in its original form. It would be better to get rid of some malignant tumors in the court with the imperial aunt and husband. Qing Luo ultimately won the jackpot with thirty arrows, and the final set of five arrows won the red heart. The white fox was released from the cage, and Qingye, who was supposed to eat roasted fox meat, hugged a soft and fluffy fox and buried his face in it. Princess, how did your arrow miss the target today? You'll know when you get it. Qing Luo smiled and told Qingye about the abnormality of the arrow shaft, without mentioning that he deliberately added water. After walking three or forty steps away, the owner of the shop was probably out of sight. Qing Luo then added, the arrow shaft was tampered with by the owner of the shop, and it cannot be seen without careful inspection. Oh! Qingye was quite surprised. If she encountered any injustice on a daily basis, her own princess would have rushed forward long ago. Why is this happening today? Princess, you! Before he could finish speaking, Ning Xian, who was silently listening on the side, covered his mouth and casually stuffed the candied fruit into his hand. Junior sister, why do you have a brainless god sister like you? Qing Ye, whose mouth was covered by someone, was unwilling. Just as she was about to struggle back, she was blocked by the sour and sweet taste in her mouth. Anyway, eating someone's short mouth until the fruity aroma pierces through that layer of sweet and sandy honey shell, spreading all over their nose and into their soul, hmm, where did they buy this candy? Ning Xian ignored Qing Ye and turned his head to sigh. Looking at his junior sister, even if there was a missing young master in the martial arts world, he couldn't help but feel inferior. Junior sister, is there anything else in this world that you don't know? That's natural, with incomplete five tones, I can't sing in battle. Poetry and literature don't make sense, and my brother always says that my character looks like a symbol from some extraordinary expert. Speaking of shortcomings, Qing Lua's calm and resolute demeanor is a bit more calm than those skilled in swords and halberds. As a senior brother, I have not spoken again. Ning Xian has had the privilege of seeing the character, Junior Sister, a few times. It's true that he will go to Qingpu another day to seek some harmless explanations. I'll be back in two days, but Junior Sister, please don't leave behind those medical studies. Although the people are peaceful now and no one is willing to go to war, it's hard to guarantee that the E ethnic group will have a different mindset at any time. Although my mother, my father, and Lingxi all wish that you never need to use this medical skill, if one day you truly kill the enemy in front of you, it will still be a self-protection ability. Taking a glance at Qingye, who was carefree in holding the white fox, Ning Xian confessed again, I heard that the wise Prince Li 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 once apprenticed to an extraordinary expert with exceptional medical skills. Don't miss this opportunity, junior sister. During the conversation, the street was bustling for a while, but a sedan chair ran down the street towards the palace. Qing Luo looked at the sedan chair and couldn't recall who in Jingzhou's mansion had such a pattern. In confusion, I heard the people around me chattering about something. Before listing, there should be daily updates of thousands of words. If there are any recommendations or special circumstances, we will add updates accordingly. Thank you for your understanding and support. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Xian Wang, Zingxi, Zengxianxi, Guoxi, Tuoyu Jiazi, 3 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Xian Wang, Zingxi, Zengxianxi, Guoxi, Tuoyu Jiazi, 3 Just as they entered the mansion gate, Qing Luo and his three companions were called by Qing Pu. I brought the leaves with me this time, and my senior brother also accompanied me. 
Carrying the fox in Qingye's arms onto the Qingpu desk, Qing Luo planned to tell his brother what he saw on the street today. But there is something I want to tell my brother. Not in a hurry. My younger sister looked cute as she was eager to explain. Qingpu handed the white fox on the desk back to Qingye before continuing, there's something I need to tell you. As an outsider, Ning Xian was about to avoid being stopped by Qingpu and said, I just sent a letter to the villa. It was just as the eldest son of the Yu family returned to Beijing, and the Yu family wanted to hold a grand banquet, inviting everyone to come. Coincidentally, you have come to Jingzhou, so why don't you go together? They are all young masters and girls of similar ages, so they must have come to play. Okay, then I'll go back to the mountain villa two days later, so that my junior sister can accompany me and wander around Jingzhou. It's a rare opportunity. Princess doesn't have time. She hasn't even practiced martial arts these past two mornings, so she accompanied you out. Holding the white fox higher, the fox obediently lay down, letting Qingye play with it. Qingpu was about to continue speaking when he felt the burning gaze of his sister, who only wanted to join the fun earlier. After hearing Qingye's words again, she thought about chatting with Luor, but her playfulness delayed her martial arts practice. The child of the Yu family has been lost since childhood. A few years ago, he was recruited as an apprentice for the national teacher. Based on his background, he can be considered to have recognized his ancestors and returned to his sect. Over the years, I have traveled around the world with the national teacher, and now I have returned to Beijing to inherit the position of national teacher. After many years of not returning, the Yu family is all very pampered. Qingpu looked at the three people in front of him and explained to them kindly. The clothing and accessories in the mansion will be all ready, so Luo Er and Yi should not bring their weapons to the reception banquet. After speaking, Qingpu pointed to the short daggers, double swords, and other things that Qing Luo and Yi carried on their bodies, put them in the mansion. Did the national teacher come into the city at noon today? In the morning, your majesty said that the national teacher was a hundred miles away from Jingzhou city. He lowered his eyes slightly, but in an instant, Qingpu added, it should have been in Jingzhou city by noon, only going to the palace. That's it. Qing Luo nodded and didn't forget to reach out and touch the white fox in Qingye's arms as he spoke. Today, we won this white fox on the street and met the sedan chair of the national teacher. I used to say that this was a sedan chair from someone's mansion, but it turned out to be a national teacher returning to Beijing. The matter was explained clearly, and Qingye carried the white fox to General's wife by Landau's side. Ning Xian only said that Qingye was not safe to do anything, so he wanted to follow and made a fuss as they left the courtyard in Qingpu. Qing Luo My older brother called out his full name. Although I didn't know where he had done something wrong again, I asked him to catch me. However, Qing Luo still managed to get up with what happened on the street today before Qingpu preached. After the opening of the Fangshir market, there were fewer restrictions on doing business. In recent years, it has been a part of our business and there has never been such a thing. If this is really the case, I'm afraid there may be some influence behind this person. But such behavior doesn't seem like being instigated behind the scenes by those who plan big, it's just unscrupulous merchants and petty people, bullying others. Luor, you don't need to think too much. There's something I want to talk to you about, brother. Listening to his brother analyze the matter on the street in a few words, Qing Luo did feel that he was still inexperienced and instead regarded this trivial matter as a major matter. Qing Luo had not yet realized what he had done wrong, and as an older brother, he didn't show any concern. It's good to make friends. If you love to play, it's not a mistake. In the future, you are going to inherit the legitimate military position of our general's mansion. Leading troops in battle is not just about relying on military documents and strategies. If you don't work hard, the way is that soldiers will fall into battle, and the general will hold back the Li Kingdom. Why should you entrust it to the people who pay taxes? Luor, although you are still young, you cannot distinguish between old and young. Remember what my brother said today. End of this chapter.